What's up guys? This is the Roefman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, while we plod along in the Middle East, we are going to start our Northern Italian Offensive. So this army under Demetrio Barbosa is planned to take out this Spanish force plus this Spanish force here in one of our towns. And that will free up these armies to advance towards uh, Venice, Genoa and Milan. And we also have another army in Rome ready to advance. So let's kick on and take them out. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Oh, that was a bit, of, a bit of a delay getting into the battle there. Um, but yes, by clearing out these Spanish forces, it opens the route towards Venice. What I'd quite like to do. I, well, I've got a special, special plan for what I want to do about Venice. Because they, they've got a full stack embarked on the ships. So if we can march straight in and take the city, we can dispatch a cavalry unit to try and evict their ships out of port. So we want to try and minimise casualties because this army needs to keep pushing. Actually, I might put you guys a little bit further back so you don't blow my own guys' heads off. Just a look here then. Garrison guards on the left. Bulk cavalry wing on the left. Include my... Nope, I will include my general. Overwhelming strength and firepower. Not too bothered about the provincial cav, that'll go down pretty rapidly. Grossier, go after the provincial cav. Garrison guards support them in the combat. You men all dump into squares, that'll deal with them. Carabina. Begin to engage the enemy infantry block. Yeah, that's a lot of routing cavalry already. Again, we're sucked up into squares. There's the enemy general. My artillery is killing my own guys. You're out of square. The e men form up. Cossier, go after the general's bodyguard. Put artillery, engage the militia because they're picking off our cavalry. Garrison guards support the defense of the militia. Well, actually, charging, ceasefire, artillery, ceasefire, howitzers. So in these four, position as a barrier. So you guys are around the complete opposite way. Kill the enemy general. Yeah, some of the troops are starting to recover. We can bombard them with artillery as they run. Otherwise, there we go. So, lost a lot more men than I, the men than I would have liked. But I think it's mostly because I didn't hold back and defend, which seemed a bit overkill, really. This army's still going to be more than enough to deal with the Spanish force in our church school or our seminary. So back you guys flee. And a few men hit Bologna. 
To be honest, you might actually just... No, nah, just fight it. But that's opening the way into northern Italy for our main armies to the south. He that would live in peace and at ease must not speak all he knows or all he sees. Mm. Pretty much. Don't don't talk a bunch of rubbish and don't... Uh... Yeah, pretty much. So now we don't really care about losses. I mean, really, I don't really care about losses last time, I suppose. Based on my conduct... So everyone's all set up, except for the artillery, who will fire round shot. So if you're play, playing this a bit more intelligently, you effectively form up your line, run your carabiners up first so they can use their they can fire off musket shots against the enemy cavalry. Get your howitzers to drop shots on the enemy provincial cav. Put my dressier against the provincial horse. Deploying the square too early, they changed their tactic. And artillery on the left, just just hit their militia units. There we go. The provincial cav, they are going to hit the garrison guard sadly. They won't. Garrison guards are man enough to deal with that. Left flank advance. Good hit for the militia. Charge! They're getting mown down. And charge on, attack that unit of militia. My line units advance. Buy some breathing room from my cavalry. Keep pushing up. Now don't charge anyone, just shoot them with artillery and shoot them with muskets. can charge up be part of this action let you guys go through the gap there we go you men form a really thin barrier at the back I don't care if you get into melee combat charging uphill into militia not a great idea but uh, they are only militia, so once you make it into combat, they've nearly lost a hundred men already. Yep, and they are falling. Just 
Yeah, they're just smashed. Theoretically, you should carry on killing them. Come on, let's get to it. Hillary. Peace fire. I mean, you're both going to have to pick one unit up because they're all spread out. Yeah, say we theoretically have to kill them because they they're still going to be on the field and Spain is still in existence up in Madrid. You know, once we've secured northern Italy, we can then deal with Genoa. Feels like once you, every time you right click, it's the kind of pathfinds. They kind of redo their pathfinding and realize actually we can kill those people rather than run next to them all the time. Last guys on the map. Nice. Very nice. So they've retreated. So, <clears throat> how we would like to do this is attack the city. They're under siege. Dispatch a cavalry unit to the port. That's pushed their fleet out against our fleet, which we will auto-resolve. We lost two ships. Let's bring in this galleon. But that's their entire army, or navy, rather, gone. Two men make port to replenish. Our navy can get back. So we've got Venice under siege. You men could advance right up into the belly of the beast, but we're going to give you some help. You're going to... You're probably not going to be able to help anyone. These are the guys to watch out for. But Genoa... Genoa, their port is currently being raided by a Savoy army, so I'm not worried about them. In terms of the Middle East, yeah, we're still just pushing down towards Damascus, and then we will need to fight Austria at some point. Or Sweden, if they decide they want to uh, they want to make a go of it. In which case, then you, David de Torres, you require five units. Okay, let's get you some cavalry. Two cuirassiers, light cavalry sharpshooter. Can I recruit one? Rocket troop, because I did see one available. There you go, improved rocket artillery. And then a cool unit of infantry. Have we got any skirmishers? No. So let's get some sharpshooters. Oh, Cazadors, I haven't got Cazadors either. Get some Cazadors in, because they're unique. They're unique to Portugal, so let's recruit them first. Then you'll be ready to push towards Copenhagen. The Baltic itself is pretty blocked up, but we want to try and make sure we have dominance of all of the shipping in the Baltic to prevent these armies from being deployed across. Let's look at Sweden's got some interesting pike units there. That's pretty neat. Regiment of Foot looks pretty cool. You're ready to jump on Estonia. You probably... Hmm. You guys replenish. Push up some reinforcements. Anyway, I'm being distracted. Let's go after the city of Venice. They will receive some support from their Spanish allies. They've got a lot of cavalry in the centre, so this is going to be glorious with quickline right off the bat because all those cavalry are going to be sat in the center and it's going to be great it is going to be fantastic 
and then we can assault the city. And then Venice will be the bulwark against Austrian uh, expansion in this part of the world, and it may even be the trigger to war with Austria, because I, I am well aware that they do like to, uh, to own Venice. They do like to try and take the city. So if I've got it, that might be what pushes them over the edge. So all my howitzers up front. You're going to be smashing the center with quickline, and it's going to be brilliant. These guns are going to chip away at a breach in the walls. Our American. Actually, you guys better melee troops. You got more defense, but less a lot less attack. Well, I think my Marines and my Americans are going to go up, go in first. Backed up by my line. My guerrillas and my musket irregulars are going to try and find other sections of the wall to get into. Shells away. We've killed their general. Glorious. And they are within range, but I don't want to attack them directly, lest it convince them to come at me. You should lob shells over. Aim short. You men do not. These guns don't want to fire at all. Very well. Go for that breach then. Well, that's not good. The howitzers are going to have to go after the wall then because my guns are incapable and it's not because there are troops in front that they're, they're deciding we can't shoot, there's troops in the way. Because they've never cared about that before. If they are firing now, but I'm not sure what at. Let's limber them up and then unlimber them. Go get him. Whew. Must admit, I was a bit worried then, but they didn't kill any of my. They didn't cause any of my gun teams to rout. Especially because the AI is deciding they do not want to shoot my foot artillery at the breach, could cause us problems. Anyway, you men get back to the guns. You are going to have to make a breach for us because the foot artillery is being stupid. Okay, now you're closer. Now, what do you want to do? One gun is firing. Yep, that's a massive failure on the part of the AI right there. I don't... <clears throat> the AI can be a bit stupid, but that's never happened.
But what if you aim at the... See, look, that's, they've just taken that as an order that says, no, can't do that. Yeah, it's just completely fallen over. Look, these are completely fallen over. These are useless, except for one gun firing. And it's not because there's trees in the way, it's just they've... An update has just screwed up the AI, frankly. Let's get this wall breached. So let's begin the process of clearing out the defences. Could try the old tricky do. Where if I deploy like this, if these men push up and try and scale the wall, they will freak out and try and stop me. And push out of the wall. guys are all shooting. Just keep thinning them out. Here come some of the reinforcements. Where are the Spanish reinforcements? Yeah, there they are. Oh, they have, yeah, they have started to come in. You're being shot at from the wall. Spread out. Oh, you guys shouldn't be. You guys should be running. You guys getting up here is going to is going to trigger the behaviour I want to trigger. Unless you guys do it first just to try and get some get the speed up a bit to make everyone try and scale the wall let's see if it works though let's see if it works on the Spanish So if you don't come out, we will get a good position on the walls and just shoot you. It will be most delicious. They appear not to be bothered by said war attack. Which is fine by me. I mean, I imagine a couple of these units will get upset because they've still got a handful of troops up on the wall. There we go, now they're going to start coming out. And cavalry charges. So get you men up here to form a square to block them in. Let's get my Grunner Mercenaries over here. Get my... Let's not get them fighting this regiment of line yet. 
attack the breach with quicklime. handful of them up here. Let's see if we can lure them out. Some of the cavalry is going to come out and hit a square immediately outside the gate. Oh yeah, they're desperate. Bring my cavalry in under the cover of the bastion. Taking a gate. Ooh, excellent hit. That's right, deploy your reinforcements because the this breach is your killing field. Four mercenaries, 29 cav coming through. Get one of my good gun teams to keep pounding the marines. You then jump on the 22 men. Use my line infantry to secure the wall, get my guerrilla mercenaries up here just to shoot down onto the breach. Let's get my line infantry in to secure the command HQ. Give you guys an order to go here and hope you spread out and use more ropes. Spanish are starting to make themselves known. It looks like my guerrilla... Oh, so this is what sometimes... Okay, no, they are shooting down into the breach. That's good. So it's humans, secure the command HQ. I think now is the time. Quick line in the centre. Send in the Marines. My American troops. Format ready to try and get in afterwards. To be honest, my cavalry is going to try and get in as well. Pack down the guerrilla mercenaries. Okay, now my infantry can fire full spread down some men from their horses attack the breach actually cavalry hold let the marines clear it out a little bit first the okay, guerrilla mercenaries just form up on the wall Regiment of Spanish Militia. Uh, the Swiss line are probably going to kill my line infantry inside the wall. Inside the uh, command HQ. Kill that one line infantryman. Kill those three irregulars. Kill those militia. You men will never fire at will on the walls because these guys are stuck down here. Push, push. 
bring my general up here as well. So the native musketman auxiliary try and take position. Take position on the wall. My colonial line clear their way down off of the fire step. My marines clear away in. Now let's just engage the conscripts. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely going to clear clear out my line. Oh, yeah. Chug time. I mean, you guys have given you orders to pull back from that engagement. You men should take position on the fire step and shoot down into the combat. Let's switch to round shot. Yeah, there goes the men out of the... Let's try and bombard the command HQ with my howitzers. Now they've taken it. Let's see if I can flatten it. Okay, you men get over here. Kill the Spanish general general's bodyguard. Sending more men up the wall. You guys don't want to shoot, so let's get you involved in combat then. Come on, Marines. Clear your way. Clear your way through. Theoretically, my, actually my cavalry should go around here. Killed the enemy general, so let's try get my cavalry around to the other entrance. Make sure you guys are far it will off. There we go, we are bombing the command HQ. Ah, they are about to abandon it. They're sending their marines up the walls after us. Six men, 14 men, 167, 38 cavalry. We are clearing a route through. Okay, let's just run in now. Oh no, they, they retook the gate. Very well. Kill the militia. In this unit, try kill the regiment of foot. Kill them. Kill them all. I should get my infantry to focus on the enemy marines, although there's not many of them left. Clear your way in. Let's start knocking some units out, actually. Well, they're charging at the wall. That's not a bad idea. They might have enough mass to push us off. pick are they going to defend the wall or watch the defense at the gate crumble because even if they send in these conscripts we have got a whole bunch of infantry waiting for their turn to be sent in Yeah, 
Shoot the militia conscripts a round shot, I suppose. It's only a one irregular. Aha, we've recaptured the gatehouse. Excellent. You men get over here. Push down the wall. They're not going to... They're, they're trying to work out what to do. But if we push in and around, we can knock out these guns, attack the conscripts, and then suddenly we're holding the centre. This is a real blood fest. I'm just sat here watching them. Watching my marines hack their way through. They're sending in their provincial care. Get in, you fellows. Household cavalry especially. Charge down the steps into the marine. Light cavalry. Deal with the artillery. Heavy cavalry. Deal with the conscripts. Oh, it's a ceasefire. Okay, I think now it's time. If I'm allowed to do this, push troops through the breach, but not into it. We're not into combat, if that makes sense. Kill the last gunner. gunner. Got him. Go after the first regiment. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of mass to just push through. Mercenaries charge into the rear of the Swiss line. You men push through into the provincial cab. Okay, now we're applying that pressure. The cracks are starting to show. Ah, uh, the cracks have shown. Slaughter the Swiss line as they try and run through. Nice. Real bloodfest, that one. That was good. So there aren't any significant forces in this part of the world to worry about. Austria is ostensibly our ally. Let's get repaired. Get repaired, get replenished. Excellent. Get the upgrades going. Good. You are on the road. Spain. But we're not going to do that this turn. You know what? Let's recruit. North African army, get some Amazons, actually get rid of two, get one of each, get rid of one of each type of unit and recruit two African infantry guards, there we go. So you're ready to drive in and get Savoy from the west when needed to. You guys are forming up, I want these guys to replenish. Then we can hit Genoa and Milan. Let's hit and turn. Alright, more reinforcements. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. More ship recruitment. Via the Portuguese Navy. Don't care who you are, don't care where you are. We're going to come get you. Soon the Ottomans will be done. You know, Venice, see, they want 
lime juice and sauerkraut? No. Yeah, they hate us. So they are looking for any excuse, I think, to attack us. If they leave Ankara unprotected, they will, um, they will rebel, and then we can take the we can take the city. I might okay. This turn's going to be the turn I cancel their military access. The Ottomans are panicking. Wait, quick! Must there must be something for an atomic bomb in one of these universities? No, you hate us as well. I need to keep boosting my navy. Ooh, Savoy's after Genoa, but got repulsed. Interesting, you are attacking us and counting on the support of your Spanish compatriots. You fools. So, yeah, Genoa's issued battle, and they're counting on the mass of the Spanish army behind them to actually win. Well, let's see about that. They're going to end up getting absolutely smashed. Right, so let's set it towards the back to allow our artillery to do maximum work. As they come through out of the town, that's going to be particularly particularly vulnerable period for them. So that was you have deployed. Your horse artillery. This is gonna hurt them. Deploy my guerrilla mercenaries up front. Drop some stakes. Drop my cavalry on the flanks. My howitzer batteries are going to do a huge amount of damage. And then deploy a rocket troop just to sit there firing volleys. Pretty sure that's everyone except for my general, who's going to stay below the trees. So they're coming in from the right. That's frustrating, but not terminal. Ultimately, you're going to probably just stay as a line infantry formation there. Pivot. Get the grenadier guards up into the high ground in the trees as well. There is, it's not super great. I think they might just be back here and lob round shot. Same with you guys, in which case let's get my irregulars into the line, probably against the Genoese. Advance the Harrier howitzers up, not the Harriers, I wish it was Harriers. Rocket artillery is aiming at the Genones. Cavalry is leading the way to do battle. Let's advance our cavalry out as well. Which 
shrapnel shot from the 24 pounder unit is going to blow a hole in their line. Let's retarget against the 3rd Regiment of Provincial Horse. Let's allow my cavalry here to do their job. Engage the 3rd Regiment. I don't care if they all come at my cavalry. You're going to go after 4th. The 2nd Regiment. Oh, they broke. Keep my Hussars back. Horse Grenadier Guards can shoot at them. I mean, Lancer Guards and my heavy cavalry, they'll just they will just smash them up they just can't recruit good cavalry in the sort of territories that they're using ok, howitzers deploy, quick line artillery, unlimba general, get in the middle So Genoa is effectively out of the battle. So for Genoa in general. and keep smashing the troops at the reinforcements as they come in. Hussars go for the provincial cav, you guys go for the general. So many men. Ah, oh, definitely quick line those guys at the back. Rocket artillery, prepare for bombardment. <laughs> Show my horse grand air guards of fire it will off. Good quick climb hits. This infantry wing can push up. USCS and Lancer Guards just each take one. Actually, both go after the sixth. Okay, let's re make sure I'm retargeting the center. We send some militia in to try help. The provincial cavalry is broken, they are shattered. Artillery, unsurprisingly, is incredibly effective. Don't shoot into the combat. If they can knock out this militia unit, then they're going to pull back. Devastating quick climb hits. Knock out the militia. Go shatter them if you can. And withdraw. We're not after trying to trying to push this. It will just annihilate the Spanish. Although, oh man, we're going to do exactly that. Commit. Send the entire army 
towards them in a giant wave. Switch their artillery to round shot. Bombard the 13th. Send one unit after a Genoan. Infantry units running. Yeah, there they go. Grenadiers attack the tent. Poor old militia. They never stood a chance. That's right, mix yourselves up. Make it a lot more. Increase the surface area between the militia and the uh, grenadier guards. Genius! Turn right, continue. Artillery. Ceasefire. Just kill as many as you can. Although they are likely to, to escape because they've all routed sufficiently wide. Except for you guys, actually. You've got all my cavalry after you now. You may not have routed wide enough. One guy. Get him! He stood his ground until he got annihilated by his hussar. I bet you are so happy you supported your allies, Spain. That worked so well. Yeah, all my cavalry up top. I mean, you better not turn on me, Saxony. I created you. I will end you. I mean, I'll have to end you eventually, but I definitely expect you to help us against in a war against Austria. Not my iron mining complex, I can rebuild that. Saxony, unfriendly. Present state gift of finest jewellery. And let's continue trading. I mean, I pro they probably don't like us because of our territorial expansion, minus 280. They don't like the fact that we rule the world. Which I get. I'm not a monster. Austria. Hostile. Oh, I can't, okay, I can't cancel their military access without cancelling our alliance. Although I must admit, cancel just cancelling the alliance won't be a... Cancel Alliance. I think that means we get booted out of. Or we, or we just, we just attack them. We just say, right, we're gonna blow the whistle. And we're gonna go after you. Let's recruit a bunch of infantry as, as reinforcements. New men. Concede mal. Okay, right, let's take you guys. See Genoa. Then you men can siege Milan and probably fight the engagement. Let's bring. We'll bring let's bring you guys up to support Venice against the Austrians. Actually, no, you, you, you can stay where you are because you're replenishing. Let's maybe not start a war against Austria this turn. Let's instead make sure we've got everything positioned so you're ready to jump on Ankara, although they are probably going to rebel and become Ottoman anyway. In which case we don't want to destroy Damascus too soon. Let's push one unit over towards Latakia. See, the rationale about not just not taking Damascus yet is that if 
Ankara rebels and becomes Ottoman, then we are at war with them. Whereas if we take Damascus, destroy the Ottoman faction, and it's recreated, we are not at war, we get pushed back to the borders, I think. And besides, a good number of these armies can go up towards Turkey. A good number can just make it to a friendly port, frankly, and get ready to be shipped over wherever they need to go. We can jump on Lviv and Iassi quite quickly. We can push down towards Hungary quite well. Let's see, Württemberg are a bit of a wild card. They hate us as well, but to be honest, now we're the ones that have broken the alliance. Let's see if the rest of the world decides to unite against us. Okay, you man get in there. Let's recruit a bunch of first rates. Make sure our Make sure our navies are doing okay. Because you are effectively a battle fleet. Well these are these are our battle fleets, but we don't have as many serious fighting ships as I would like. So Brest mass recruit heavy first rates then we can start to send those out and recruit more navies so we've got some good navies up here in the baltic but after a few combat cycles they may become exhausted uh, but looking at the time i mean to end the episode so what we're going to do is we're going to take this fella susa and we are going to attack the city of milan they have no defenses we do have access to... Actually, I might bring you guys here. Not that I particularly want these guys or need these guys. Ideally, I'd reinforce from this army rather than this one. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for, hopefully, the destruction of Spain. See you, everyone.